Now here the question is, consider the parabolas y minus 2 whole square equals 4x minus 2 and x minus 2 whole square equals 4y minus 2 and let s be the largest circle touching the two parabolas internally in the bounded region, find the center and radius of the circle. So here we have two intersecting parabolas and we have to find radius of this largest circle which touches both the parabolas. Now if I look at equation of two given parabolas, they are y minus 2 whole square equals 4 x minus 2 and x minus 2 whole square equals 4 y minus 2. Now what we'll do is we'll shift the origin to the point of intersection which is 2 comma 2 so that this problem it simplifies a bit. So what we'll do is we'll let x minus 2 s some capital X and y minus 2 s some capital Y then we have equation of two parabolas as x square equals 4y and y square equals 4x. So basically what we'll do is we'll solve the problem for these two standard equations. We'll find the center and radius of the circle by shifting the origin again. So now we have this situation where we have our two new x's and here we have two parabolas as capital Y square equals 4x and x square equals 4y. Now they'll intersect at origin and if we equate them the other point of intersection will be 4 comma 4 and we need to find radius of the largest circle which is going to touch both the parabolas. Now just by looking at these two equations we know just by interchanging x and y in one we will get the other equation. So basically these two parabolas they are a reflection of each other about y equals x line. So these two parabolas they are inverse curve of each other and they are reflection of each other about y equals x line. Now from symmetry we can establish that center of the circle it will lie on this line which is y equals x. Now previously while solving the question I made an assumption that center of the circle will be midpoint of 0 0 and 4 4 which essentially is incorrect. Now the problem here is I completely forgot these are the branches of parabola and not circles. In case of a circle symmetry is preserved and this maximum distance will be at the midpoint. But in case of parabola if you want to look at it this distance it is not maximum at this midpoint 2 comma 2. So this assumption that center of the circle is at 2 comma 2 is incorrect. And that is the reason I have to rework this problem. Now how do we solve it? Now essentially it is clear that center of the circle will lie on y equals x line. Now we are not going to assume that it is 2 comma 2 but the center of the circle it still lies on a y equals x line. And suppose this point of contact of this circle and parabola y square equals 4x is some point A and if we write it in terms of parameter coordinates for this standard parabola y square equals 4x will be t square comma 2t. Now at this point A this circle and parabola they will be tangent to each other that means normal to this parabola will also be normal to the circle. So normal to parabola at this point A will pass through center of the circle. Now if we write equation of normal at A will be given by y plus tx and it will be equal to a t cube plus 280 and a in this case is 1 so it will be t cube plus 2t. Now basically center of the circle 
it is nothing but it is intersection of this normal with y equals x line. So if we put x equals y, we get x equals y equals t cube plus 2t upon 1 plus t that is center of the circle will be t cube plus 2t upon 1 plus t and t cube plus 2t upon 1 plus t. Now we have to maximize this radius. Now if we use distance formula then we will get this radius as r square equals 2 minus t upon 1 plus t square into t square plus t4. Now we have to maximize this radius. Now since it requires a lot of calculation, what it did was I used wall from alpha and from there it says we get maximum value of r as 1 by root 2 and we get this value when the value of t is 1. Now we have radius and we also have center. We can solve this problem. But I did not like this approach because of this complicated expression. So another thing that struck me was if we consider these two parabolas y square equals 4x and x square equals 4ay and this is our y equals x line. So if I take a point t square comma 2t what I can do is I can find the maximum distance of this point from y equals x line. So that's how we can find maximum value of this radius r. So if we find this distance say r will be x minus y and x minus y will be t square minus 2t upon root 2 with a mod sign but as of now we will ignore it. So if we differentiate dr by dt we will get this as 2t minus 2 upon root 2 equals 0 value of t is 1 and basically we have this mod sign here so if we are going to check then we will get a local max mat t equals 1 and if we put t equals 1 we will get the value of r as 1 by root 2 so this approach is a better approach so here we have r which is 1 by root 2 and once we have t this point A it is 1 comma 2 and if we put t as 1 we will get this as 1 plus 2 3 upon 1 plus 1 2. So this point or center of the circle will be at 3 by 2 and 3 by 2. And since this other parabola it is a reflection of the first parabola. So corresponding point on this parabola will be 2 comma 1. So once we have this point and it is we can write equation of the circle. So equation of the circle will be x minus 3 by 2 square plus y minus 3 by 2 square and will be equal to 1 by root 2 square which is 1 by 2. But this is equation of circle for these parabolas capital Y square equals 4x and capital X square equals 4y. We have to find it for the given parabolas. So what we'll do is we'll simply replace x with x minus 2 and capital Y with y minus 2. So we can write equation of the circle as as x minus 2. So it'll be this x minus 7 by 2 square plus y minus 7 by 2 square and it'll be equal to 1 by 2. So center of the circle will be at 7 by 2 comma 7 by 2 and its radius will be 1 by root 2 and this point 1 comma 2 say this point A will be this x minus 2 equals 1 so it will be this 3 comma 4 and this other point B will be 4 comma 3. Now we come back to its graph. 
This point is 3 comma 4. This other point is 4 comma 3. And this is 3.5 comma 3.5. And radius of this circle is 1 by root 2. I would like to thank Ankit who pointed out error in the solution. So the problem with the previous solution was assumption of symmetry. Though it is correct that center of the circle will lie on y equals x line, but it won't be at 2 comma 2 because these are not two intersecting circles. They are intersecting parabolas. And as we can see, they are sloping differently at these two points. At 2 comma 2, we have a different angle. And at 4 comma 4, we have another angle.